My heart My soul It belongs to you You pay Oh yes you did it God That's why In such a special way That's why Because you've been so good, because you take good care of me, because you gave your life on Calvary. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. That's why my heart is filled with praise. praise How many people the love the Lord truly, today? Truly. Does anybody love the Lord today? Hallelujah. Yes. Somebody said, that's why my heart is filled with filled, praise. Filled to overflow, filled up. Hallelujah. I love the Lord. No room for nothing else but to praise God for his goodness. Because he first loved me. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Amen. Hallelujah. God. That is why. My heart is filled with praise. Good yes. to see everybody coming on today. Good to have you all coming on today. Good to see Sister Motley. Good to see Mr. Brown. Haywoods is in the house. Greg Millen is in the house. God bless you. Look, Tre uh, Tracy. Right, Tr Tresha. Tr uh, nah, that's Patrice, right? I don't know what. I don't know how to Trisha, pronounce that. Tricia Rose. Tricia Rose. I just yes. call her Patrice. Amen. Patricia. Yeah, yeah. Patricia. Good to see everybody coming in the house today. Dorothy is in the house. The Wilsons are watching on today. Good morning today. to the Wilsons. The Neils are in the house today. Amen. God bless y'all. Good to see you all this morning. Everybody, Petra Smith is in the house this morning. God, Lee, all y'all yes. is in the house Praise today. God. Amen. Don't you just thank God for Facebook yeah. Live? Yeah. Shawnee, Amen. Shawnee Dixon is in the house Amen. today. God bless you. Prayers to continuing see. to go are up you for you. Are you back in Michigan Amen. or are you still in uh, Arkansas? Are you still in Arkansas? Amen. Or are you back in Michigan? 
Amen. Hallelujah. So it's just good to see everybody. Oh, Elder Ante is yes. in the house. Love Brian. you, Johnson. Gina probably somewhere close Y'all so good to us. Thank you Amen. so much. Thank you, man. I'll get me. I, I, yes. buy, I buy that. I, I, I'll utilize the gift. I'll utilize the gift. Amen. Probably wait till the spring so I could bust out wide on them, though. Amen. I'm rocking my stuff now, Gina. Yeah, I know she is. <laughs> the Edmonds are in the house. It's good to see everybody Amen. in the house. Well, it's good to see you, First Lady. Good right to see you. Right back at you, Glad Pastor. Glad you are here today. Amen. That is one of my most favorite songs uh, in uh, the universe. Amen. I love you, yes. Lord. And I love you, Lord, today Amen. because you first loved me yes. in a special way. Come on now. Said, that's why I praise you. That's why I lift yes. you up. And that's why I magnify your holy name. Amen. Amen. Praise Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. All right, what you got first, lady? Praise the Lord, saints of God. We just want to officially welcome you to our online real-time worship experience. Uh, 60 minutes or less, praise God. We've been doing this for quite a while now. Yes. Uh, and we're just thanking God that you have chose to join us uh, in worship today. Yes. Uh, just reminding you that at Antioch, um, we are kingdom seekers. Yes. We are empowered by love. Edified by faith. And committed. And committed. To excellence. To excellence. Amen. Amen. California is in the house today. Praise the Lord. Hey, Sister Martina. Look like Sister Carolyn Terry is in the house Amen. today. Good to see, see all y'all. Jacob. Amen. Good Jacobs morning to you. Today. Jacobs. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's start with our Psalm. Psalms 37, 7 through 9. Mm -hmm. It says, be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Yes. Fret not yourself over the one who prospers in his way, yes. over the man who carries out evil devices. Right. Refrain from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not, he says it again, fret not yourself. It tends only to evil. For the evildoer shall be cut off, but those who wait for the Lord mm. shall inherit the land. Hallelujah. It's time to, it's always time to uh, be still and to just quiet yourselves, not to fret, but to yeah. wait and hear what it is that the Lord is saying to you because yes. he's always got the answer. Yes, he does. Always has the answer. And he comes to us and he says, vengeance is not mine, says the Lord. He is the one that will fight the, the battle for us. Mm -hmm. So hold your peace, saints. Hold yes. your peace today. And again, I say, wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you going to lead us in prayer today? Sure. Would you join me, saints of God, as we go to the throne together? Yes. Lord. As we go corporately as a body, as we touch and agree around the word of God today. The Lord has put on my heart to just pray the Lord's prayer. Yes. So join me in that. And whatever's on your mind, whatever's on your heart, whatever is weighing you down, I'm praying and believing, God, that as we touch, that the Lord will begin to lift that burden yes. right off of you. So, you know, Jesus, they asked Jesus, teach us to pray. Mm. And Jesus said, this is how you pray. So our Father, yes. who are in heaven, in heaven. hallowed would be thy name yes lord jesus thy kingdom come come on righteousness yes. peace yes. and joy in the holy ghost yes lord thy will be done my god that none would loss none would perish yes. but all would come to the knowledge of you on earth yes. as it is in heaven yes lord give us this, this day, day this for day. this is the day that the lord has, has made, made. Therefore, we can rejoice yes. and we can be glad in it. Glad Give in us it. our daily bread. Glad you have God. provided for us, Thank Lord you, God. Not just bread mm. to eat, Father oh, God, God. God, but you've given us your word. Hallelujah. That we could partake of your heavenly word that produces once mixed with faith. And we thank you, Lord God for the bread that you have provided today, Father yes, God. Jesus. So give us this day. Give us our daily bread. And Father, forgive us of our sins, of our trespasses, of our thoughts, our actions, our um, deeds, Lord God, our words, Father God, that have been contrary to walking in love and joy and peace. Take a moment right now and ask God to forgive you. Father, yes. forgive us. Forgive us Lord. Confess those things, hallelujah, us, hallelujah, that the Lord can Free forgive us, you. For he said if we Free would confess mind, 
that he would cleanse us of sí, all proca. unrighteousness. Mm. So we confess Dios. right now, Father God, Thank you, Father. where we've said things or done Come things, Lord God, us. that have not been pleasing in yes. your sight. Thank and you, they Father. have hurt other people, my Father God. God. My God. We confess right confess now, Father right God, now, God. And we repent, Father God. Yes, and we yes. thank you as you have said in your word. Mm. That that slate is wiped clean, yes, Father God. thank you, Father. And that we are new to start afresh today. Yeah, fresh anointed. We thank you for forgiving our trespasses. Yes, thank you, Father. We thank you even for uh, forgiving those who have wronged us and hurt us and mm. harmed us, Father God. We don't want to see any harm come to them, Father God. But we release them. Yes. We let them go. Let them and go. we thank you, Lord God, that just as you have blessed us. Yes, Lord And you Jesus. have told us that we have to forgive, mm. that you may forgive us. We let them go. We yes. forgive them. We practice forgiveness right now, Father God. And we thank you, Lord God, as you forgive us our sins, as you forgive us our trespasses and those who have trespassed against us. Thank you. <clears throat> and Father, we thank you thank that you right you're now. leading us. Come on, pray, y'all. Not into temptation. Come on, come on. You have said yes. that with the temptation, yes. you always, always, you always, always, you Lord. always create an escape Bro, that, that we mm. would be able to endure it, Lord mm. God. Thank you, For Jesus. you will not allow us to be tempted above that which we are able, Father. My God. And for that, we are so grateful. Grateful, Lord. We thank you that you won't let us be tempted, Lord God, yes. above measure, Father God. For you are the power, you are the glory forever, forever and ever. And Father, I thank you for everyone under the sound of my voice, whatever city or state or country or continent that they might find themselves on. Mm. I thank you that your blessings are covering them my and their God. families. Everywhere Cover that they right go, now. everywhere that their touch feet right trod, everything that their hand touched, right you now. have caused favor yes. and blessings, blessings and increase yes. and prosperity, My Lord God. God, and peace, peace and protection and, and provision, yes. Lord God, to rest upon them yes. now. Yes, and yes. we pray right now, Father God, for our pastor Hallelujah. as he brings the word of oh. God. Hallelujah. Bless you. That will allow us mm. to walk in our wealthy place, Thank Lord you, God, Thank as you, it allows us to walk in our purpose, and our light to shine. Thank we you, pray Father. for him, Lord, right now. Thank you, we Father. thank you for him, Father God. Grace. Minister to us through grace. him, Father God. And when he thank is done, Father, we ask that you will restore, you your refresh, peace. and renew him, Father God. Mm. And we give you all the glory, yes. the honor, and the praise for it now. Yes. Let every heart say amen. 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 Praise the God. Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Come on, let's, send some, the let's Lord. send some amens thank up. You, let's God. send some thank you. Jesus is up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all know how Our we God do. Our God is we a healer, together. a forgiver, a deliverer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We just thank you even That's right now. That's the kind of God we serve. Hallelujah. I need somebody to do me a favor right now. Amen. Wherever you are, throw a hand up in the air right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just throw a hand up in the air thank right you, now. Thank you, Lord. Now, whatever you have need of, thank speak you. it into the atmosphere. I thank you, Father If you God. need healing on your body, I, I need you to throw you. that hand up in the air and thank then you lay for that hand. Every need, Lord lay God. that hand upon that place yes, that is hurt yes. right now. Lay that hand we upon that place that healing. is that is uh, uh, injured right yes, now. Yes, yes, Father. Lay that hand upon yourself right Hallelujah. now. Hallelujah. Just lay your hands upon yourself. If you if you need to stand in the gap for somebody, yes, yes, yes. stand in the gap for somebody's lungs, thank lay you, your hands you, on your lungs you, and say, I'm standing you. in the gap yes, for my yes. loved one so they could breathe naturally, yes. so that their heart beats with the rhythm of Hallelujah. life, so that the pneuma, the very pneuma, the very breath of God yes, yes, is yes. breathing through their lungs yes, even Father. right now. Come on, somebody. Thank you, Lord. Lay hands on yourself right now. Mm. Say, I'm standing in the gap yes. for my loved one right now. I thank you they that may my be in the hospital room. Hallelujah. In the gap right now. The touch, your mouth, touch your mouth. Touch your mouth. Touch your mouth. Somebody, glory. somebody's got some speech Filled things going on right now. Hallelujah. Touch your mouth right now. Say, I'm Walking standing in, in the gap. I'm sta Hallelujah. Touch your legs right now. Say, I'm standing Hallelujah. in the gap yes, right yes, now. Yes, yes, yes. Strengthen the legs. Strengthen thank the you. muscles. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Clear the arteries. Mm. Clear My the God. arteries. Thank you, God. Tell somebody. Say, I'm standing in the gap. Yes, yes. Right now, in yes. the name of Jesus, because I know that Ooh. you are a healer. Thank you. First Peter 2 and 24 says, by your stripes. Yes. That we are healed. Hallelujah. And made whole. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name. Yes. We believe it. 
Yes. In Jesus' name. Thank you, God. We receive it. Yes. Amen. Amen. I don't know who that was for. That Praise was for somebody Praise the Lord. That was today. good stuff. That Amen. Was for somebody today. Amen. What we got, First Lady, is it uh, time for announcements? Yes. Hallelujah. Let's do some announcements All on right. today. We'll start with Hallelujah. our Hallelujah. We're going birthdays. To, let's start with the birthdays. Okay. First, let's start with this one right here. All right. Um, we are... We are coming back on next week. We're coming back uh, face to face. Amen. Amen. We're still going to be wearing our masks. Yes, We're still yes. going to be doing all the things that we did prior to uh, when we took the hiatus for January. We'll come back face to face, but we're going to ask you to don your mask when you come in. If you don't have a mask, we got plenty of masks in the back of the church, First Lady. Amen. So we ask you to just wear your mask. And then we ask you to, uh, if you don't feel good, just stay home. If yes. you if you got a sniffle, stay home. If you do, if you if you've been you've been coughing and you don't know if it's the cold or flu or you sinuses, don't know it's sinuses, you know sinuses, we like to blame or, everything on yeah, our sinuses. If you, if you don't know what it is, you're like I don't know what this is. Yes. Just gonna stay home until that yes. passes. Amen? Amen. Just stay home until that thing passes, and then come on back on the third Sunday. It will, Amen. It sure will be it's good gonna, to see everybody next Sunday. Yeah, though. it's gonna be good. I just yes. want to make sure that. Really everybody excited. that we are that we take care of one another amen, amen in the, in the church house amen yes. so that's that's on next sunday amen yes. so go ahead first lady go so ahead we with have your our uh, january birthdays i just want to um just for last week uh we had chris wilson jeanette anderson dante wembley dantes wembley we had sandra butler patrice mitchell yes imani williams yes we had Zakaya wembley we had Tanita Chester oh, and Tanita. Sydney went Wembley. So we had the Wembleys was just taking over January. They just took over January, <laughs> just didn't took they? over. So that's our birthday month. <laughs> but happy birthday to all of our January birthdays. And, uh, and this I is got, I got about one to be more. it. I got one more. Who you got? I got one more. Who you got? We call him Antioch's birthday boy. Oh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Yes. Jeremiah. Amen. Jeremiah had Jeremiah birthday. was the first a young man that we did a baby dedication yes. for in the church. Yes. He was just a little baby. He's 15 years old. Amen. He marks the ministry. Amen. Y'all know I always say that. I say, Jeremiah marks the ministry. Yes. You know how old the ministry is based on Jeremiah. Amen. And so Jeremiah, he turned 15 years old. Amen. Amen. And so I told him to jump online. I don't know if he jumped on or not, but I told him, I said, man, jump on today so we can send you a birthday shout out. Amen. And happy birthday to Stefan Brown as well. Yeah. Yeah, Stefan got a birthday. Amen. All right, man. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. All right, y'all. So what else we got, First Lady? So pantry. The, don't forget updates. about the, the pantry. Amen. February 5th. That's correct. Uh-huh. And we meet uh, if they, we start giving things away at, el at 12 o'clock. Right. But if you want to drop something off, you can drop it off at 1130. Amen. We uh, are in a, a transition period, so we're meeting on the south side of the church. And so you can go and meet on the south side of the church, and and um, and, and and the team will be there for you. Yes. Amen. Yes. The team will be there for you. Hallelujah. So we just thank God for uh, for the the pantry team, the Charles Terry pantry team. We got something special happening from the hospital. I want to. I don't want right. to. I, I, I can't leak it out too much. Okay. But we got something special happening from the hospital. Praise the Lord. On um, the third. Sunday. That's going to okay, be not the first Sunday, God. but the third Sunday, uh, the hospital going to show up. They're going to show up on us. Amen. Right. Praise so, God. This is always a good chance to just say thank you to yes. not only the team, but those who make it possible uh, by donating yes. food and finances yes. and your time. Yes. We just appreciate all of that. Yes. We have just really been able to be a great blessing to this community. Yes. And we it's, cannot say thank you enough for and, that. And, and so many people, so many people, uh, they sow seeds and they'll say, hey, mark this for the pantry pastor and we mark it for the pantry. Amen. And we don't have no overhead, you know, ain't nobody, yes. uh, nobody on the uh, nonprofit side gets paid. Amen. And so we just, you know, when you give, when you give to the pantry or you give to Antioch Cares, it goes straight to wherever Amen. we say it's going. Amen. Praise God. And so for that. Uh, that, that, that's always been our blessing. 15 years ago, we started the nonprofit and we said, that's the, that's the giving arm. Amen. And it gives people like the hospital and other major organizations a chance to give to Antioch Cares. Amen. So, so that's how that goes. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And, uh, and don't forget about our prayer. Our prayer is every Tuesday from uh, at 6 a.m. and also 6 p.m. Please jump on that line. We had a great group 
we had a great group on the line. I ain't going to start calling no names, but we had several new people yes. that came on the line. They just said their name, and I yeah, said, oh, start the man, new year it was so out. good. Start to, it out right. So good to hear the voices. For Amen. First lady, man, I Amen. said, dang, go ahead, y'all. That's good, y'all. And so come on, just join in. That's all you got to do is just join in. And um, and um, and say your name and say good morning and especially at that six p.m. Yeah. Six p.m. is so everybody's like up, ain't they? Yeah, they're up. They're up. They laugh at it. Hey, what's going on? We gotta cut them off so we can go ahead and pray. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Our uh, theme for January is "Your light shines brightly upon the earth." We're yeah. coming out of Matthew five and Psalms one twelve. So please join us. Pick your pick your spot. Six a.m. or six p.m. Uh, this coming Tuesday. Amen. Amen. It look like looks look like Sister Simon says she's gonna be ready next Sunday. Sister Jacob says she's gonna be ready Amen. next Sunday. Amen. Good. Yeah, it's gonna, <laughs> be, going, good it's to gonna be good everybody. to see everybody. I am looking so forward it's to that. It's gonna be good to see y'all. Very exciting. Amen. They go they go sat and talking about God is good all the time. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, look at that cute little picture. Got that little cute little Aww. picture. That cute little baby. Amen. Hallelujah. That was Minister Brown. I ain't want to call no names, Minister Brown, but I heard your voice, man. Amen. So, Amen. <laughs> so yeah, he was he was he was one of the new ones I was talking about on the line. So Amen. so yeah, so it good to have everybody. Hallelujah. What else we got, first lady? Is that it? I think it's time to uh, offering time. Oh, is is it giving time? It is. Man, all right, y'all ready to give? The Bible says, "Give and it shall be given unto you." Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. It says that men will give into your bosom. I found out that I was uh, playing music during the offering, and I found out that Facebook don't like it, and I found out YouTube don't like it, and so they be muting me, amen? Mm -hmm. And so when they mute, it buffets and all this other stuff that happens along with it, so that's why I ain't playing no music. And so listen, so uh, maybe on next week, when uh, Elder Bell come, he'll have a little little something going on in the background for y'all, amen? I need y'all to start getting ready to round up your, uh, round up the praise team and tell the praise team we get ready to start singing again. Amen. Amen. We're going to start singing Ooh, I again. I miss you guys. Hallelujah. We're going to start singing again. Round them up. Say, come on, y'all. It's time to come on back and start singing again. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I ain't say, I ain't say on, I ain't say on uh, February 8th. I mean, a February, a first Sunday, but it's time to get rounded Amen. up and start knocking the cobwebs off them songs. <laughs> <laughs> y'all gonna need some practices under y'all belt. Amen. Amen. So start getting they ready. Maybe, maybe y'all start, it. maybe praise team, get ready for Easter or something like that. Praise Amen. The Lord. But it's, it, it, it's, it's almost time. time to hear them. Amen. It's time. Well, uh, given it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shake together, running over. Watch this. It says that men will give into your bosom. Amen. I always say this, and y'all heard me say this time and time again. I thank God for each and every one of you because you guys are cheerful givers. You guys have given through the pandemic. You guys have allowed the lights to stay Hallelujah. on, the grass to stay thank cut. Thank you. Thank You've you. You've allowed the the, the snow to, 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 to stay shoveled. We didn't have shovel. to worry about we pulling worry up today. About. Thank you so much. Man, the parking lot thank was you. cleared out. So we thank just thank you. God for you. Amen. Hallelujah. And I thank God for my deacons. They take they take care of things. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm Shout talk. out to the finance team. I mean, just. Uh, they, they're going to make the message a little bit today. I'm going oh, to them, talk about the uh, deacons a little bit today in Amen. the message. But I thank God for all of them. Yeah, the finance team. Come on, the unsung heroes. Yes. Hallelujah. The unsung heroes, finance team, keep things afloat. Y'all know who you are. I'm going to start calling y'all by name, but y'all know who you, who you are. Got out the, um, the, the, the uh, what y'all call it, the W-2s, not the W-2s, the giving but statements. the giving statements. Got mm -hmm. the giving statements back to people, uh, um, you know, sending out SOSs. So I thank God for you guys. Amen. Amen. I really do. Y'all need to hear me. I think, and I pray for y'all. Amen. Because without you guys, man. We we couldn't do what we do. I could I not I couldn't do this. I can't do this by myself. First lady, she can't do the finance piece and stuff by herself. So we just thank God uh, for each and every thank you every, so much. every person. So if you're giving through Cash App, it's a it's a money sign capital A N T I O C H fifty four thirty. If you're giving through PayPal, go to the website www uh, AntiochofLansing.org, and then follow the giving prompts. If you still want to sow an uh, old school seed, you can do that Amen. too. And you can just send it to the P.O. Box, P.O. Box 80346, Lansing, Michigan, 48908. 48908. So if that is you, find one of those ways to give. Amen. You want to make sure, you want to make sure uh, that you. Um, 
you want to make sure that you uh, 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 got a seed in the ground. Amen. You want to make sure that you're not eating a seed. Amen. We have always been able to to to, to go further uh, with the ministry because we don't eat up the seed. Amen. Amen. And the seed is able to keep growing and keep flourishing, keep growing and keep flourishing. So we thank God for you all. And I thank God that in your life that you don't eat up God's seed. Amen. That you're not putting God's seed uh, in. You know, God still wants us to do things. Amen. Yes. He still he wants you to be able to live in, in those kind of things. Life abundantly. He still wants you to be able to live and, and live an abundant life. Amen. But he don't want you eating up the seed. Amen. So we got so we so we at Antioch, we know how to how to put first things first. Amen. Amen. We put God first. Yes. And then everything else works itself out. Yes, Amen. It Hallelujah. Y'all ready to give? Come on, grab your grab your Bible, grab your your cell phone, whatever you're working with. Amen. I've already sold my seed through Cash App. That's the beautiful thing. If you're watching, uh, when, whatever time you're watching, let's send a shout out to my auntie right now, hey, auntie, auntie Ramona. <laughs> God bless you. Love you. She watches through uh, YouTube. Amen. We love you so much. Amen. Amen. And she and she that that's how she gets ministered to. Amen. Yes. She don't have Facebook. So she said, nephew, you may make sure you send that over on YouTube. And every Sunday, yes. faithfully, I get it out to her and she um, and, and she sees it. If she don't see it on Sunday, she may do a binge watch. Amen. Love you, auntie. Any way you bless me, I'll be satisfied. Amen. Hallelujah. So with, whatever time you're giving, just lift your offering up to the Lord. Say, Father God. Father God. I thank I you. I thank you. For blessing for me. blessing me. With this seed. With this seed. I sow my seed. I sow my seed. By faith. By faith. And I fully expect. And I fully expect. A 100 fold return. A 100 fold return. On my giving. On my giving. Lord. Lord. I live. I live. To give. To give. In Jesus' in name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. Say amen. Say amen, Hallelujah. somebody. Thank and you. And listen, then this is what I need you to do right now. Thank you. I need you to, I need you to, to, to put a, a, a word on that seed. Thank you, Lord. Claim that seed. Put thank something you on that it. Say, this met. seed Hallelujah. is for X, Y, and Z. Yes. I'm planting this seed I for think X, Y, and Z. No lack, only Did you hear me, Satan? Satan? Did you hear me, Satan? Whatever thank you have you need of, put it in the people, atmosphere right now. Put a, Listen, this is why I say put a seed in the ground. Yes, yes. Put a seed in the ground. Hallelujah. Yes. Put a seed in the ground. God respects that. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, I think that's all I have. All right. Let me step out the way. I think that's all I have. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Elder Bell, they'll be muting that stuff on me, man. All right. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? to? Y'all ready for the word today? Amen. Turn with me to Matthew's gospel. Thank you, first lady. Turn with me to Matthew's gospel. Matthew's gospel. And um, turn with me to the 15th chapter of Matthew, the 15th chapter of Matthew. Hallelujah. The 15th chapter of Matthew. And then we're going to look at 11 through 20. We're going to look at Matthew chapter number 15. And then we're going to look at 11 through 20. 11 through 20. I, I, I need my prayer warriors praying for me right now. I need my prayer warriors praying for me. I need, if I, if I was, um, if I was uh, uh, in church, I would have my, my deacons make sure y'all got my back. This one of them kind of messages. It's just one of them kind of messages, amen. I might need I might need an escort out the building today uh, with that with this kind of message. Matthew 15, 11 through 20. Y'all ready? Let's read. Not that which goeth into the mouth defile of man, but that which come out of the mouth, this defile of man. Then came his disciples and said unto him, Knoweth. Thou that the Pharisees were offended after they heard this saying. But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father have not planted shall be rooted up. Are y'all standing up? Y'all should be standing up. I'm watching y'all. I'm watching y'all. I had to come back out there because I know y'all not standing up. Come on, stand up. Stand up right now. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. Then answered Peter and said unto him, declare unto us this parable. And then Jesus said, 
Are you also yet without understanding? Do not ye yet understand that whatsoever entereth in at the mouth goeth into the belly and is cast into the drought? But those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart. And they defile the man. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murder, adulteries, fornications, theft, false witness, blasphemy. These are the things which defile a man. But to eat with unwashed hands defile not a man. Let's pray. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for your word. I pray, Lord God, that this word will light up the path of the believer. I pray, Lord God, none of me, but I pray, Lord God, all of thee. Father God, I pray, Lord God, that you would speak through my vocal cords today, think through my mind today, allow the words that come out of my mouth to be a sweet-smelling savor Onto you. Touch these, your people today. Touch them in a special way, Lord God, and allow their lives to be changed like never before. Father, we'd be quick to give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name, let every heart say amen. Now, shake your Bible at me and say, This is my word. Say, if I receive this word with my mind only, then this word is dead to me. But if I receive this word with my spirit over my mind, then this word is life to me. I do not need any religious form or fashion. I need life in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, before you sit down, say this out loud. Say camouflaged in plain sight. Just say that out loud. Say camouflaged in plain sight. Camouflaged in plain sight. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, this message today is, uh, is rough. This message today is, is offensive. Somebody say offensive. This message is offensive. This, this, this is one of those messages that uh, the enemy um, comes at the speaker hard about messages like this. Before I could hit play, before I could hit save last night, the enemy was coming at me about this, this message. And then I, I, I began to think, I said, man, should I, should I not, should I not preach that? And the Lord said, Preach what I told you to preach. Come on, somebody. And so I said, okay, Lord, here we go. So last week I began to speak to you guys about the evolution of change. And I shared with you that all of us are experiencing change every day of our lives. Every day that we live, we are experiencing change. Last week I reminded us Elder Bell, that the enemy wants to attack us where he believes that we are vulnerable at. He wants to attack us in places within our mind where he believes that we are vulnerable because if he can successfully attack our thought life, then he can successfully influence decisions, even how we make decisions. Amen? And so today, as much as I said this message is uh, offensive, this message really is an accompanying, accompanying piece to what we've been talking about the last three weeks. This message is dealing with, saints of God, the vulnerability of the heart. So in the first part of today's lesson, Jesus is teaching about how important the heart is 
to very life itself. And so then he begins to talk about what folks see on the outside. Mm -hmm. He said it doesn't always reflect what is going on on the inside within the heart. James, the brother of Jesus, said it like this. He said, James chapter number one, verse number eight. Somebody follow me on the screen and put that on the screen. James chapter one, verse eight. He said it like this. He said that a double-minded man is unstable, watch this, in all of his ways. In other words, a double-minded man is somebody that says one thing, but then they do something else. Matthew 15 and 8 says, This people draw nigh unto me with their mouth. They honor me with their lips. He said, but their heart is far from me. He said, but in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines and the commandments of men. This brings us, saints of God, to our topic for today, camouflaged in plain sight. Here are these men. These men find themselves as leaders in the community. They find themselves as influential men of God. They come and go within the community. They come and go with the people of God. They act as representatives of the people of God. They're in plain sight, but really, watch this, they're camouflaged. Camouflage is defined as disguising, especially for military equipment, or for installations with paint, with nets, with foliage. It's concealment by means of disguise. Behavior designed to deceive or to hide. Somebody say camouflaged. Camouflaged. You can be camouflaged right there in the midst of your enemy. Come on, somebody. I don't know about you, but but they they have uh, in the military. I was not a military person, uh, but they have uh, something or so, a group in the military called Navy SEALs. And what Navy SEALs will do is they will go to a place and uh, 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 ahead of the regular army. They may go there and be there a month or two months or maybe even six months. They'll, they'll swim in and nobody knows that they're there. They're just in a, a, a place camouflaged in the midst of the enemy, but camouflaged. <clears throat> this year, what God uh, sent me by here to tell somebody is that this year God is going to smoke out all of those that are around us that have been hiding right there in plain sight. God told us this year that this is the year to arise. This is the year to shine for the light has come. The light will let us know that we are on the lighted path. And the light will also let us know where the dark places are. Are y'all still with me? And, and with the exposure of light, the real you comes out. The real authentic you will come out. It's also going to do something else. It's going to expose some hypocrites. It's going to expose some people that are around us that have been hiding very close to us. The ones that they are, are there uh, with us, but secretly they're cheering for us not to get promoted. Y'all ain't going to say nothing. There are, there, there are some that they say that they want you to get married, but they really are cheering for you not to be happy. There are some that are with you, but they, they, they are really jealous about your happiness. This season, God's going to smoke some of those ones out. Come on, somebody. When God reveals those that are in camouflage, the real question is going to be, how will you listen? Yes, yes. What you going to do with the information? Some of that information, Deacon Mason, is going to require us to change. It's going to require us to change how we do and how we handle people. Huh, hallelujah. Jesus spoke to the Pharisees, and he said, and it appears as if, uh, he, as he was talking to the Pharisees, he, it appears as if the crowd took a step back. 
and it allowed Jesus to begin to talk with the Pharisees. He got into a verbal discord with the Pharisees, the leadership, the religious leadership of the day. But now we find ourselves looking at Jesus as he turns away from the crowd. He turns, or excuse me, from the Pharisees, and he turns to the crowd. The Bible calls, often calls the crowd the multitude. And then he begins to teach the multitude. Let me give you two things, and I'm going to step out of your way, Deacon Blackwell. Number one, somebody say, ouch. Just write that down. Just say, say, ouch. Write that down. That, that's your number one point. Say, ouch. I told you that this is a message, this is a message that was offensive. This is a message that can, can cause great offense. This is one of the messages that you got to have some, some room about yourself as you're listening to this, to this message. Amen? He says, watch this, verse 11, he says, Not that which goeth into the mouth that defile of man, he said, but that which come out of the mouth. He said, this defiles a man. As he turns to the crowd, the Pharisees were still present. Huh? They were still present. And it appears as if they felt that they were still the center of the teaching. Somebody say this out loud. Say, you probably thought this song was about you. <laughs> Somebody probably said right now, they probably said, man, you called pastor and told pastor to preach this. No, no, no. Lord told me to preach this thing, and I'm, 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 so I'm going to give it the way he told me to give it. Amen? So he, he, here they are. They're still in plain sight. Here is Jesus. He's challenging their teaching. He's challenging their sincerity of their hearts, and he's doing it right there on the spot. In other words, Jesus is saying, y'all keep focusing on what's going into somebody's mouth, but what you should be focusing on is what's going out of uh, what is coming out of the heart through the mouth. Preach, Thomas. We ought to be focusing on what's going on in the mind. What's going on in your thought process? What is going on into the soul of a man? We'll be shouting a little bit later. The soul shows up. It shows us up by what comes out of our mouth. Jesus' teaching is consistent. Put this on the screen, Ante. Luke chapter number 6, verse number 45. He says this, A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good. And an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is, watch this, evil. For out of the abundance, first lady preached on that this morning, out of the abundance of the heart, watch this, the mouth speaks. It's clear that what we allow to flow into and through our ear gates is vital. What goes through the eyes and the ears, watch this, lands on the heart. Preach, Thomas. What's planted in our hearts, watch this, will sooner or later come out of your mouth. Proverbs 18 and 21 says, Death and life are in the power, where? Of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Our words are powerful and our words have life. There's an old school song sung by a, a secular artist by the name of, of Howard Hewitt. And uh, he, he, he's known for singing love ballads and and all those kinds of things. And, and, and uh, 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 Howard Hewitt, he sung this song called Say Amen. But the other day, Howard Hewitt donned social media to, to, to apologize to a member of their group, a former member of their group. He publicly apologized to this former member of the group because Howard said, I said something that has lasted for 40 years. Y'all ain't said nothing. He said, he said, what I said 40 years ago has still made an impact. And how it said, I just want to say I'm sorry. How many people know this? That death and life 
are indeed in the power of the tongue. D don't get too religious on me, y'all, huh? because we know some people that have been holding on to stuff for 50, 60 years. We know families that have held on to stuff 50, 60 years and said, you said that your grandmother said this to my grandmother. So because your grandmother said this to my grandmother, then we got to keep this thing going. Somebody say the devil is a liar. So Jesus is talking to the crowd and he says, it's not that which goeth into the man that defileth." He said, but that which cometh out of the mouth, death and life are in the power of the tongue. The Pharisees, watch this. He said, he said, then his disciples said unto him, knowest that the Pharisees, here it is, got offended. He said they got offended. Watch this. How many people saw that? That the Pharisees got offended. Paul and Simon, this is what old school used to say. A kick dog will holler. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. They must have got convicted in their hearts. And the teaching will cause us to say, ouch. That's why, that's why we got to keep our eyes fixated upon the prize. Amen. We got to keep our hearts in a position of repentance. We got to be able to repent. Repent means this, Minister Brown. It means to repent means to turn and go the other way. So watch this. If we have allowed uh, the wrong people in our circle, we got to turn and go the other way. Mm -hmm. If we have allowed the wrong stuff to influence our thought process, we got to turn and go the other way. We can't allow something that happened years ago to keep us shackled. We got to repent and turn and go the way. Somebody write in the chat, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free. Somebody write in the chat, I'm free. Somebody write in the chat. Somebody else write in the chat, say, no more chains binding me. Ain't no more chains binding me. I, I, I'm free. I'm free. All right, number two. Number two, I'm almost done, y'all. Number two. He, and, and my number two thought is, give us a clean heart. Somebody write that in the, in, in the chat. Give us a clean heart. Give us a clean heart. Give us a clean heart. Hallelujah. Verse number 13 says, but he answered and said, every plant which my heavenly father have not planted shall be rooted up. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall in a ditch. Preach, Thomas. I said they both will fall in the ditch. All of us. Every one of us listening, I feel like preaching now, Ante, every one of us listening, we want the blessings from God. Mm. But the blessings of God often require us to do something. Faith is having a confident attitude toward God and his will for your life, but faith has some corresponding action that go along with it. God wants us to be blessed, but he wants us to have some corresponding actions to go along with our blessings. The Lord wants the light to shine upon us. I said this season, he wants the light to shine upon us, but we're going to have to do something else. We're going to have to repent. We have to go the other way. We have to say, Lord, I need, why? Because when the light shines on you, it shines on every flaw that we have. We have a role to play. Not only do we have to repent, but watch this, saints of God. We have to guard our hearts. Guard our gates. Guard your eyes. Guard your ears. Be strategic about what you watch. Be strategic about what you hear. We have to allow uh, access for people to get into our thought life. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What goes into the heart will eventually come out of the mouth of the person. Are y'all still with me? Jesus said, if folks are blind, he said, the blind cannot lead the blind. If folks are blind, 
and they can't see what God is doing in your life, it don't make sense for two blind folks to get together because he said the blind cannot lead the blind. Why? He said you'll both end up in a ditch. Have you ever seen a couple when both of the people in, in the couple was bad with finances? Oh, come on, somebody. If you got two people and both people are bad with finances, then guess what? It's going to be some bad money management happening right here. Come on, somebody. Y'all ain't said, no, I, I, I at least got one man from First Lady. That, li listen, if, if both people are bad with finances, listen, if both people are bad with finances, they need, somebody need to hire a financial manager. <laughs> Preach, Thomas. It's blind leading the blind. Have you ever seen a couple that were both had fidelity issues? Huh? They both, they end up on Maury Povich. Y'all ain't said nothing. They, they, they end up on Maury Povich. Why? Because it's the blind leading the blind. Have you ever had folks that, that have seen folks that have a problem with eating? And, and, and they can't control their eating. And so then they hang out with somebody else that can't control their eating. It is the blind leading the blind. Y'all ain't said nothing to me. A few weeks ago, the church had a, a, a leak. Went downstairs. I, a, a, a first lady went downstairs. She saw the leak. <laughs> she came back up. And, and, and she said, Pastor, she said, it, 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 it's a leak downstairs. I said, oh, man. Okay, now I know one thing for sure. First lady, she can't fix no leak. Come on, somebody. And then I know another thing for sure. I can't fix no leak. <laughs> so you got two blind folk leading the blind. Now we would have got, come on, first lady, let's get us a, a ladder. We're going to go up on the roof and we're going to fix the leak. No, blind leading the blind. Y'all about to fall in a ditch. Y'all ain't said nothing to me. Amen. And so what I said, well, I said, okay. I went downstairs. She said, what you doing? I said, I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to get some help. I'm going to summon some help. I'm going to summon the people who ain't blind. <laughs> Come on, somebody. So I, 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 call, I, I summoned uh, Mr. Brown. I, I summoned the men in the church. I summoned the deacons. And I, and I summoned another brother that might as well be a deacon, uh, uh, Roland. And, and so I, I summoned them. And, and Roland lived right, 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 right around the block from the church. And next thing I know, Roland was over here at the church. And, and he had diagnosed the problem. Why? Because he wasn't blind to it. <laughs> He, say, he said, the problem is not in your furnace. The problem is on the roof. Come on, somebody. Listen, what am I talking about? I'm talking about if the blind lead the blind, they'll both fall in a ditch. We got to understand something. We got to understand that if I, am, if I am blind in the area, I've got to admit that I'm blind in this area and I got to get myself some help. If I'm blind in the area of finances, I need to get somebody that can help me with my money. Y'all ain't said nothing. Y'all ain't said nothing. I ain't said nothing. If you're struggling in the area of fidelity, you got to find somebody that can help you with it. If you're struggling in the area of eating, you got to find somebody that can help you with it. Don't find somebody that's going to lead you back into the ditch. When we operate with clean hearts, when we operate with unclean hearts, then the pathway to the ditch is clear. I'm almost done. It's a clear shot. When your heart is not where it's supposed to be, then your pathway to the ditch is clear. Somebody say this out loud. Somebody say, this is not a ditch season for me. Oh, y'all ain't said nothing. Come on, y'all. Somebody say, this is not a ditch season for me. This is a season to arise. Here we go, somebody. If anybody is coming into this, into this uh, 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 service today, you ought to be saying to yourself right now, this is not a ditch season for me. I'm coming out. Mm. When I start preaching this thing, all of a sudden that song rose up in my spirit that God is turning it around for me. I said he's turning around for me. Somebody right in the chat, ready or not, here I come. I, I, I know, I know, I know some of the young people, Greg Millen, I know some of the young people don't know nothing about real hide and go seek. 
Sometimes they'll play hide and go seek in the house. But we used to play hide and go seek in the neighborhood. Y'all ain't saying nothing. We play hide and go seek. People be hiding all up in trees. And, and, and the person that was it, they had a little tagline. They said, ready or not, here I come. If you had not gotten to a hiding space, they was going to get you. And they, if they tagged you, you was now it. Y'all ain't said nothing to me today. I just stopped by to tell somebody, ready or not, here you come. I came by to preach to somebody today and tell that somebody that's been in the slump. Somebody that's been in the slump, you got you to gotta begin to speak to yourself. You got to begin to speak that thing in the atmosphere. You got to remember what I said earlier, that death and life is in the power of the tongue. You got to hear yourself say this out loud. Say, say this out loud. Say, say, ready or not, here I come. In baseball, in baseball, baseball players, I'm almost done, y'all. In baseball, baseball players, uh, they go through, they go through slumps. Hitters have what we call a slump. There are some times when a hitter has a slump. That means that, that they can't, they can't get a hit like they were getting them before. And, and, and for some of y'all that have played baseball, uh, uh, you, you will understand this. You'll understand these statistics. If a person gets three out of ten hits in baseball, we call that person a very, very good baseball player. A very good baseball player. Very, very good. Three out of ten. If a person gets four out of ten hits, we might say that that person is the greatest of all times. But even those that, that, that have a 300 average or a 350 average or, or even a 400 average, and, and I think there's only maybe been one or two people in the history of the game that have had that, but a 400 average, even those people find themselves in a slump from time to time. I stopped by to tell somebody today that even the great hitters, even the great players find themselves in the slump. All great players, all great hitters that go into a slump, they, they, they wake up that morning and they say that the, the next morning when it's the game, they wake up that morning and, and, and this is what they say, Deborah. They say, today is my day. Y'all, they said nothing. I feel like running now. They say, today is my day. They say that, they, that things are going to turn around for me today. Put those words in the atmosphere. Somebody put those words uh, into your heart that today is the day that things turn around for me. Huh? Put that in the atmosphere. Say it's turning around for me. Your greatest season is ahead of you. Come on, somebody. You may have been in the slump in the last season, but your greatest season is ahead of you. You may have been in a slump yesterday, but your greatest hitting day is today. Somebody say, today is my day. I stopped by to tell somebody today that you have greatness on the inside of you. And you are, you are camouflaged in the midst of all that is going around about you. God has had you camouflaged. You have been in plain sight, but you've been camouflaged. The enemy has come at you, but, but you've been camouflaged. Joy has been wrapped all around you. In the midst of darkness, joy exists. You've been camouflaged. In the midst of all the evil that may have been around you in your neighborhood, God had a jewel camouflaged. Somebody say, I was right there in plain sight. Nobody knew who I was, but I was right there in plain sight. You might be on your job, and they might have hired everybody except for you. But greatness is in the midst of them all. Why? God has you camouflaged in plain sight. I said, you've been camouflaged in plain sight. Nobody knew who you were. Nobody knew the greatness of it. I did not. I, I never figured it out. I couldn't figure out that he or she. You, you just thought, they just thought that the company was striving on its own. No, God had you in place. You are the modern day Joseph. Huh? In prison. Joseph. In prison with all the answers. 
Joseph in prison with, 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 with the word, in prison with the prophetic word, in prison with the plan, camouflaged in plain sight. Man, I feel good today. I feel good today. God just sent me by here to tell somebody, he about to shine the light on you. You ain't going to be camouflaged no more. Everybody going to know who you are. Plain sight. And folk going to say, my God, you've been here all the time. He said, I've been right here all the time. The doors of the church are open. You could come as a candidate for baptism. You can come on your own Christian experience. Hallelujah. If you need to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of your life, now is the time to do it. Now is the time to make it happen camouflaged in plain sight. Hallelujah. You may come. Just take a couple of steps in front of your device and say, I'm giving my life over to the Lord now camouflaged. Camouflaged. I'm coming to the light now. Coming to the light. Pray this prayer with me. Say, Father God, say, I come to you in Jesus' name. Forgive me of my trespasses. Forgive me of my sins. Come on, just say that out loud. Say you said in your word that if I confess with my mouth, say it with my heart and believe with my heart that I shall be saved. Say it. Say it. Say, Father, I believe that you are my Lord and Savior. Father, say, Holy Spirit, have your way in my heart today. Jesus, come into my heart today. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for delivering me. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you. Come on, First Lady. I, 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 the I'm, Lord I'm, camouflaged I'm in plain sight. My camouflaged. God. Hallelujah. In plain sight. Amen. Amen. What a powerful Listen, word. I, I, know that that, I know that that was um, hard, y'all. I know that y'all, you know, sometimes uh, you know, sometimes the Lord has to give you, he has to hit, hit it hard Amen. so that we can see what is going on. Yes. And so, you know, you have been hidden. Amen. You've been hidden. You've been in plain sight all the time. My God. Everybody been around watching and they didn't, they never looked at you, but God can shine that light. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Go ahead first. Praise the Lord. No, the, the chat just blowing up, you know, it's just. Amen. They just helping you preach out there. What a powerful, powerful word. Amen. I know I'm encouraged today, and Amen. I can tell by the chat that the saints are encouraged too. Amen. 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 Arise. The light has come, and it has come to shine on you. Amen. Amen. And Amen. let me say this before we leave. Whatever it is, whatever it is, if if it's been a while, and you don't even know why folk in your family is mad about whatever it is that they're mad about, let it go. Amen. Because this is your season. Your season's coming up. Amen. And when that light shines on you, you need to have all that weight gone. So let that it you, go. So you can just let it shine. Release it. Release it. Yes. Let it shine. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. That's all I have for today. Amen. I hope y'all received something today. Did y'all receive anything today? I see some hearts going off. Amen. Good to see you. Thank you, Sadden, for coming. And Troy, thank you for coming. And um, uh, Patrice, thank you for coming. All y'all, thank y'all yes. for coming. All the leaders, thank you guys for coming. Don't forget, don't forget that next week, next week, we will be face-to-face. -face, Amen. Wear your mask, socially distance. Yes. Leave the church when the service is over. Amen. Amen. Looking forward to seeing all the saints that. next week. Amen. So that's all I have. Listen, I'll pray for you. You pray for me. And watch, watch God that. change things. May the God of peace rest on you. Keep you safe. In Jesus' name, that is our prayer. We love you love all. You Have an awesome week. Bye.